you serious right now? Yes, I'm serious. Why did you get them involved? Well, listen, England. I'm not in the area, Dees. I gotta go. Neve. Very hostile. I'm mad that he got like defensive like that. Is he so self-conscious that he is so scared to meet me, maybe? Or it's not him. Hold on a second. I have an idea. If he's legit, and he's too busy for you because he's focused on his job, like, let's give him some work. If his cleaning company is really a cleaning business, let's book a cleaning. <laughs> We'll request a booking. If he's out of town, then he won't be able to do it, but maybe he is in town. We can say, hey, here's our address. We need a cleaning. So he can come appraise. Right, and maybe mm. he'll say, yeah, let me come over and do an appraisal or something. Okay. Let me go to the website. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. When we hit get a quote, it asks, okay, so name. All right, so what are we putting in for name? Well, I can do it because he didn't talk to me on the phone. Right. Okay, so what do you want your name to be? I always go with Ashley or Amber. I'm gonna go with Ashley. Yeah, Ashley. All right, wait, we need a phone number. Hold on. All these catfish always be using fake phone numbers. Mm -hmm. I think it's time for us to make our own text. We're gonna text catfish out number. I can't believe we're making okay. a text. We're making number. a text out of it. We are catfishing the catfish. I've stuck okay, great. I think that's it. That that's was so easy. Too easy. So let's put our phone number in. How can we help you? Party okay. urgent. Urgent exclamation point. Hello. I'm hosting. Private soiree at my at state. my Hello. house this weekend and need the place cleaned ASAP. ASAP. Hope you can come today. Thanks. Mm -hmm. That's good. Oh my god, you guys are we we're doing this. All right. Submit. It says we'll get back to you soon. We shouldn't do this at Nick's place, so let's find out if anyone who's working on the show locally has a place we can use. Because he's gonna need our address. Mm -hmm. so let's come to the house. Want to know where we are. Is this site even updated? You got an address? Mm. Ooh, really? Our local PA, his aunt is working. Mm. That's the address mm. he's under the mat. Oh, ah. oh, oh my god, I'm climbing oh up. Oh my god, it's him. All right, ready? Hello? This is England Gatewood. Oh, great. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I've been scrambling all day because I have this big party going on this weekend, and my place is just a wreck. And I need it cleaned ASAP. Are you available to come by to give me a quote? Yeah, I could possibly do that. Where are you? I'm in Pennsylvania. I'm in Vanderbilt. Okay, that's no problem. Okay. Can I come and do a, a consultation in about two hours? Oh, perfect. That would be amazing. Um, can I text you the address? Yeah, you can do that. Perfect. All right, so I'll text it to you right now. All right, thank you, man. Okay. appreciate it. Thank you. Two hours away. Right, definitely means he's around. He's yes. available. That doesn't make sense why he couldn't meet me then, right? Okay, so I'm going to text him the address. See you soon? Yeah. All right, so should we just head up there and like get set up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go get my house cleaned. I don't want him to feel like he's walking into a trap. Should I greet him first and say like, look, we tricked you, mm -hmm. but clearly you are available. You aren't out of town. And this needed to be done. And Nick's so inside no and we'd love to meet with you. Like it's your call. You don't have to come in if you don't want, but like, I think you should. And who knows, maybe the house really does need to get clean. Amazing. I know. All right, just park here, I guess. Yep. All right, ready? Yep. All right. I'll text him and ask him if he's close. So I'll say, hey there. ETA? Yeah, what's your ETA? I'm so stressed out. <laughs> OK. So what's the plan? Where's the crew So going? you guys, well, you guys can all be, <laughs> I guess. Oh, great. This, this is perfect. There's a big garage right here. Okay. You guys can hang out in here. Listen, and when he's inside, I'll just come and get you. Oh, he said, hello. Looks like I'm about five minutes away. We gotta get into position. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. It's cold. It's cold. He should be here. Someone has just got here. Car has pulled up. Just 
Hey. What's up, man? Deep. Good to meet you. We spoke earlier. Uh, briefly. What are you doing here? So why is it in our life? Similar to what I was doing earlier, which was just trying to kind of get you in a position to maybe want to meet up with, with Nick, or just kind of answer some basic questions about, I guess, Nick. I don't know what your relationship is like. I only know what he's told me. But he certainly gave the impression that you'd indicated that you were interested in him or at least meeting up with him. We don't like that we had to do it this way, but if you'd like to come inside, I'd love yeah. to just chat I mean, with you for a second. Yeah, that's fine. The good news is, you're you. Nick is here. He's bummed and confused and feels like you guys had a good thing going and then it kind of sort of got weird and he's not sure why. So if you want to go, you can go, or I can go get him and we can all just kind of hang out here for a minute and clear the air and get some clarity. Let's meet him, that's fine. All right, so why don't you come on in? I'll go get him. All right, it's him. He's here and he's okay. willing to uh, talk. Hey, England, what's up? How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Are you mad? I just, I, this is a lot. Tammy, nice right. to meet you. So I did catfish you and I apologize. This is a lot. I mean, I was just in West Virginia. I came here just to do an emergency cleaning, and it's now, it's, now it's all this. We were supposed to like meet like when we first started talking. You said you were looking for something long term, and I said I was looking for something long term. And I asked I mean, you before I messaged you and asked if you were still interested, and you just don't say anything. I am interested. I mean, there's just a lot going on. I mean, I have a lot going on with my business, and you know, there may be something that you don't know too as well. That, there like, is something I don't know, isn't there? Yeah. I mean, I've, I mean, I've been talking to someone else too, like also, like just juggling like two people. Wait, so uh, you, you are sort of in another relationship? Yeah, like I'm talking, I mean, like I've, I've been, I've been talking to somebody, like his name's TJ, and we've been talking to him before, like, you know, started talking to Nick. And I told, I told you about this person before, you know, we started talking. Oh, was this your ex that you're talking about? Yeah. So he was not actually your ex, you're still seeing him? Right. Well, I mean, it's it's, it's just, it was just a muddy water really relationship, you know. So, so I mean, you had started just... dating this guy TJ before you met Nick. Yeah. And I guess things with TJ had sort of were unclear. You started talking to Nick, and then over the course of the last two months, it's kind of been on. So you've been like That's keeping why... Nick at arm's length. Yeah. Long story short, we just wanted to finally get you guys to meet and just talk to you and find out what was up and if he should be hoping to meet up with you. And were you serious when you told him that you were looking for some, like a long-term relationship? Or was that just a lie? I mean, it, maybe just to say it, just just to say it, but I wasn't like, you know, I wanted to at least meet him and like be friends. So you weren't in that moment really looking for like a serious long-term monogamous relationship. You were sort of distracting yourself from the trouble you were having with TJ and like thinking, okay, maybe I could meet someone nice and maybe it could turn into something, but like, you didn't necessarily think, this guy seems great, I want to be his boyfriend. Right. Well, choose your words carefully next time. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It's, it's so much aggravation in you, always just wanting my time whenever I, I I'm busy. I didn't always want, no. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm busy, time. so like, you know, if I have time and, I, and if I'm available to hang out with you, then I can make it. And then I went down to DC, you know, and then I was telling him I have a client that called me and he's like, well, freaking out why I went down to DC. I didn't freak out why you went to DC. I was just confused. There seemed to be some sort of unclear explanation as to like what you meant by client. But what are you implying? When we found out that you have this cleaning business and servicing these older women, I threw out the idea that maybe you do services for these women. No. Like clean houses? Like sexual underwear. services. House no. Money. No. So we were way off. Yeah, so far off. Like, I don't even want to deal with this no more. It's a lot. So, Neve, Cammy, I'm out. Okay. It was nice to meet you, Ewan. All right. You and Keith. Thank you for coming. It was good to meet you. Got my answer. Whoops. We've never been two hopeless hook up, an identical twin. Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on.